The year is 1929, a time of great change and discovery across the globe. Inside Istanbul's Topkapi Palace, a sprawling complex that was once the vibrant heart of the Ottoman Empire, a center of power, culture and intrigue, now being carefully transformed into a museum, a place to preserve and showcase the relics of a bygone era. Amidst the dust of centuries and forgotten tomes, in the shadowy corners of the palace archives, a dedicated team, led by the esteemed theologian and archaeologist Gustav Adolf Deismann, embarks on a meticulous search through the palace's vast collection. It is here, amongst countless artifacts, that they unexpectedly uncover a rolled-up piece of gazelle skin parchment, seemingly unremarkable at first glance. With bated breath and the utmost care, they begin to unroll it, revealing its secrets layer by layer, and as the parchment unfurls, a vibrant, intricate map emerges, a panorama of the world as it was known, or perhaps as it was believed to be. Ships depicted in exquisite detail sail across uncharted waters, kings, resplendent in their finery, rule over distant lands, exotic animals, creatures of myth and legend, roam across unexplored territories and coastlines rendered with surprising accuracy, leap from the page, beckoning the viewer to explore. The map's details are astonishing, a testament to the cartographer's skill and knowledge. Western Europe meticulously outlined, Africa, vast and mysterious, and the eastern coast of South America, are all represented with remarkable precision, all rendered with uncanny precision, challenging our understanding of the geographical knowledge of the time. Dated 1513, placing it squarely in the Age of Exploration, and signed boldly by Piri Reis, a renowned Ottoman admiral and cartographer, a figure of considerable influence in the naval world. The discovery electrifies historians and cartographers alike, sending ripples of excitement through the academic community. How could a map, created so soon after Columbus's initial voyage to the Americas, show the New World with such accuracy and detail? The southern part of the map is especially puzzling and intriguing, sparking endless debate and speculation, depicting a landmass shrouded in mystery that some claim bears a striking resemblance to an ice-free Antarctica, a controversial theory centuries before its official discovery and mapping by European explorers. The map immediately becomes a magnet for intense debate and scholarly discussion, drawing in scholars from diverse fields, each eager to unravel its secrets, and inevitably, conspiracy theorists alike, all captivated by the enigma of the Piri Race map. It challenges our fundamental understanding of the age of discovery and the extent of geographical knowledge at the time, hinting at a world far more interconnected and explored than we previously imagined. A world where ancient mariners possessed knowledge that defies conventional historical timelines. The adventure of the Piri Reis map is just beginning, its mysteries continuing to captivate and intrigue. As experts continue to study it with ever more sophisticated tools and techniques, the questions surrounding its creation and accuracy only multiply, deepening the enigma. Was this merely a lucky fluke, a product of inspired guesswork? Or is it compelling evidence of lost knowledge, perhaps gleaned from civilizations long since vanished? The map's strange orientation, which deviates from standard cartographic conventions, and the cryptic notes scribbled along its edges, written in a language that hints at hidden meanings, only serve to deepen the mystery, adding layers of complexity to an already perplexing puzzle. What secrets did Piri Race truly know about the world? What hidden coastlines did he chart? And where did he learn them? From what ancient sources did he draw his knowledge and inspiration? The discovery in that dusty palace, within the heart of Ottoman history, didn't just reveal a map, it unearthed a profound historical enigma, it opened a door to one of history's greatest enigmas, a puzzle that continues to challenge our understanding of the past. The world would never look at old maps the same way again, forever questioning what hidden truths they might hold. Who was Piri Race? A name whispered in the halls of history a figure shrouded in both legend and fact. He was not just a mapmaker meticulously detailing coastlines, but a seasoned sailor intimately familiar with the ebb and flow of the tides. He was a warrior, brave and skilled in combat, and a scholar, deeply immersed in the knowledge of his time. Born around 1465 in the bustling port city of Gallipoli, he spent his formative years growing up in the heart of the Ottoman navy, a world of towering ships and daring voyages. His path was further shaped by the mentorship of his uncle, the famed corsair Kamal Reis, a legendary figure in the Mediterranean. Piri's early life was a whirlwind of intense naval battles, 
a constant struggle for dominance on the high seas. He was involved in daring exploration, venturing into uncharted waters, and critical intelligence gathering, always seeking to understand the world around him. All of this unfolded across the vast expanse of the Mediterranean, a melting pot of cultures and a crucial artery of trade. He diligently learned languages, unlocking the secrets held within different cultures and civilizations. He skillfully interrogated prisoners, extracting valuable information that could shift the balance of power, and he meticulously collected maps, always hungry for knowledge, driven by an insatiable curiosity about the world. After his uncle's death, Piri channeled his vast experience into scholarly pursuits, dedicating himself to the pursuit of knowledge. He was determined to create the most accurate and comprehensive world map of his era, a testament to his dedication and skill. His ultimate goal was to arm the Ottoman Empire, the center of his world, with the best navigational intelligence available, giving them a strategic advantage in trade and warfare. Rising through the ranks to become an admiral, Piri combined practical seamanship, honed through years of experience at sea, with academic rigor, bringing a scholarly approach to the art of navigation and cartography. He meticulously synthesized knowledge from ancient Greek sources, integrated contemporary European discoveries, and incorporated first-hand accounts into his groundbreaking work, creating maps unlike any seen before. For Piri, knowledge was power, a tool to understand, to control, and to shape the world around him. His maps were not mere decorations or artistic expressions, they were strategic tools, designed to aid in military planning and naval warfare. He stood at the crossroads of cultures, a bridge between civilizations, skillfully blending the knowledge of the East and the West, the wisdom of the old, and the innovation of the new. Piri Race wasn't just charting coastlines with ink and parchment, he was mapping the future of exploration, paving the way for new discoveries and a deeper understanding of our world. His enduring legacy is a testament to the transformative power of curiosity, the importance of cross-cultural exchange, and the enduring human desire to explore the unknown. Only a fragment of Piri Race's original masterpiece survives a third of a gazelle hide parchment, 35 by 24 inches. This piece captures the Atlantic Europe, North Africa, and the Americas alive with color and detail. Ships sail, rulers sit on thrones, and the coastlines, especially Iberia and Africa, are strikingly accurate. Notes in Ottoman Turkish guide the reader identifying islands and even describing Brazil's wildlife. The map's projection is unique radiating from near Cairo echoing the portolan charts of the era. Its distortions reflect the challenge of flattening a globe onto parchment created in 1513 when knowledge of the Americas was still raw. The map is a snapshot of a world in flux. Piri's synthesis of new and old information is remarkable especially for someone outside the Atlantic powers. The lost portions haunt historians what else did Piri chart? The surviving fragment is a tantalizing glimpse of a lost vision of the world its beauty and mystery endure, a puzzle missing its final pieces. How did Piri Race create such an advanced map? He tells us, by compiling about 20 different sources. He drew from ancient Greek maps, cutting-edge Portuguese charts, and most intriguingly, a map attributed to Columbus himself. Piri was a master aggregator, cross-referencing and editing conflicting data. He didn't just copy, he critically analyzed, compared, and synthesized, his process was an early form of peer review, centuries ahead of its time. The Columbus map, likely captured from a Spanish sailor, was a prized source. Piri's map room must have been a crossroads of cultures and eras, filled with charts from across the world. By blending these sources, he created a map that was more than the sum of its parts. His genius lay in his ability to weave together the world's knowledge. The Piri race map is a testament to the power of collaboration and critical thinking. In the 1950s Charles Hapgood claimed the Piri race map showed an ice-free Antarctica, mapped by a lost civilization. The idea captured imaginations, fueling theories of ancient advanced cultures. But modern science debunks this. Antarctica's ice is millions of years old. Experts now agree. The southern landmass is a distorted South America, not a prehistoric Antarctica. Early mapmakers often bent coastlines to fit their parchment. The map's mountains are stylized Andes, it's Bay's exaggerated river mouths. The real story isn't lost civilizations but the creative problem-solving of a 16th century cartographer. The Piri race map reflects the challenges and artistry of its time. Its mysteries are human not extraterrestrial. Piri race claimed to use a map by Columbus a document lost to history. If true his map offers a rare glimpse into how Columbus saw the new world. Piri's account, a Spanish sailor captured by his uncle carried the map, 
Peary interrogated him and acquired the chart. This story is plausible naval intelligence was a prize in the Mediterranean. The influence is clear. Hispaniola is oriented north-south, echoing Columbus's own error. Annotations about local peoples and flora mirror Columbus's journals. The Peary race map becomes a bridge between worlds Ottoman, Spanish, Portuguese, and ancient Greek. It shows how information flowed rapidly across cultures, even in an age of conflict. The map is not just an Ottoman artifact but a global document. It reveals a level of information exchange historians are only now beginning to appreciate. The Piri race map is a mosaic of the world's knowledge, stitched together by a master. The Piri race map, a fascinating artifact from the early 16th century, is deeply rooted in the Portland chart tradition. It represents a culmination of geographical knowledge and navigational techniques prevalent at the time. These Portland charts were practical navigational maps meticulously crafted and covered in a network of rum lines. These lines radiated outwards from intricately designed compass roses, serving as crucial guides for sailors. Sailors relied heavily on these lines to plot their courses between various ports, carefully charting their journeys across the seas. The rum lines provided a visual reference, enabling them to maintain direction. They navigated by diligently following compass bearings, ensuring they stayed on course towards their intended destinations. The compass, in conjunction with the Portland chart, was an indispensable tool for maritime navigation. Portland charts were renowned for their high degree of accuracy, particularly when depicting coastlines and measuring distances over relatively short stretches of sea. However, their accuracy diminished significantly over vast expanses of open oceans, leading to distortions in the representation of land masses and distances. That's precisely why the Peary race map might appear somewhat warped or distorted when viewed through modern eyes, accustomed to more precise cartographic projections. Ultimately, it's a flat map attempting the challenging task of representing a spherical world, inevitably leading to some degree of distortion in its depiction. Peary's map is adorned with elaborate compass roses, serving not only as decorative elements but also as essential reference points for navigation. These are connected by a dense web of navigational rum lines, revealing the hidden skeleton that underpins the entire structure and functionality of the chart, guiding sailors across the seas. Beyond the traditional portaland techniques, Peary Race incorporated new advancements in astronomical navigation into his mapmaking. He skillfully employed tools like the astrolabe, enabling him to accurately measure latitude by observing the positions of celestial bodies. His comprehensive book of navigation provides detailed explanations of these advanced techniques, offering insights into the methods he used to create his maps. It showcases a fascinating blend of established cartographic traditions with the emerging scientific knowledge of his time, bridging the gap between old and new. The Piri Race map stands as a remarkable product of this hybrid approach, seamlessly integrating traditional cartography with cutting-edge scientific methods. It represents a unique fusion where the established portal and chart tradition converges with the innovative practices of celestial navigation, marking a significant step forward in cartographic history. It undeniably marks a pivotal turning point in the history of mapping the world, showcasing a transition from traditional methods to more scientifically informed approaches. By understanding this historical and technological context, we can unlock many of the map's mysteries and gain a deeper appreciation for its significance. Peary's extraordinary work serves as a crucial bridge connecting medieval cartography with the burgeoning field of modern mapmaking, representing a significant leap in the evolution of our understanding of the world. It offers us a fascinating snapshot of a world poised on the cusp of the age of exploration, a time of unprecedented global discovery and transformation. Piri Race's true masterpiece was the Kitab e Bariye, or Book of Navigation. Completed in 1521 and expanded in 1526, it was the ultimate mariner's guide to the Mediterranean. The book combined detailed charts, sailing directions, and practical advice, like where to find fresh water or avoid reefs. It was a 16th century Google Maps and travel guide in one, over 200 charts, each with local knowledge, history, and navigation tips. Much of it was based on Piri's own observations and experience. The Kitabi Bariya became the Ottoman Navy's standard text, copied and updated for centuries. It cements Piri Race's legacy as a geographer and scientist, not just a map maker. The Piri Race map is more than a relic, it's a symbol of global knowledge exchange. It challenges the Eurocentric story of discovery, revealing a world already interconnected. The Ottoman Empire was an active player, not a bystander in the age of exploration. 
Piri's work fuses Islamic, Christian, and classical sources, showing the power of collaboration. The real achievement isn't in lost civilizations, but in the mind of a scholar who synthesized the world's knowledge. The map's fame has been fueled by myths, but its true story is more impressive. It's a monument to human curiosity, ingenuity, and the drive to explore. Piri Race's map is a flawed, beautiful attempt to capture a changing world. It reminds us that discovery is a shared cross-cultural journey. The adventure of the Piri Race map continues, inviting each generation to look closer and wonder. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history's greatest mysteries and unsolved enigmas. If you crave more suspenseful stories, true crime, conspiracies, and the unexplained, you're in the right place. Like this video, share your thoughts or theories in the comments, and subscribe for more deep dives into the unknown. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and stay curious.